Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Borgen. This is going to be a video on the Colorado Avalanche trade deadline analysis and grade as we look over their trade deadline. That was obviously pretty solid for the Avalanche. They got rid of Tyson Yost for Nico Stern, the most interesting trade, um, which is to bring in, I guess, a guy that has more jam to his game with a bigger size, players that fit better for both teams where they need a more high-end center in Minnesota, which giving more ability to play in the top six. Yost, I think, will fulfill that for Minnesota. But Josh Manson, a great trade for the Anaheim Ducks, and even better trade for the Avalanche because they're competing for a cup. Manson's great in the defensive zone, good physical defenseman, a guy that fits in perfectly for a cup run. They do give up a good prospect that's at least going to be good offensively in Hellison, and a second, though, but it's worth it as you're, if you're a team on a cup run and you fulfill the ultimate destiny because Manson's a guy that brings the jam and brings the great defensive punch, two things you really need. Arturi Lakinen, who really emerged this year in Montreal, definitely a rich trade, but getting a player that's really going to help you on your run as well that adds depth to that offense in the third line level as well. So I think that's really going to help, but giving a Baron and a second is definitely rich. But I do think he's going to help big time as a player. And obviously, giving him a fifth for Andrew Cagliano is genius because Andrew Cagliano has been a multiple winning team, multiple playoff appearances. Definitely want to have guys like that in your locker room, even if he doesn't play every game. I would say their deadline is an A minus, probably, just because of the Yo Sturm trade. I like. Um, on the surface, but at the same time, I think Tyson Yost is a more high-impact player if you when you play him in the top six, and I think they're going to see that now in Minnesota. Nico Sturm is a guy that's a perfect guy for a playoff run, so I do like that trade. But I do think they gave up really good prospects, so if they don't hit the ultimate goal of the cup, I do think that's why I kind of put out an A-, minus because Hellison, I think, is a very good prospect. That's at least going to be a good offensive defenseman that's solid in the defensive zone, if not more than that in the NHL, in my opinion, plus a second. And then Justin Barron. There's nothing bad to say about Justin Barron. And the second they gave up for Lycanen. So I'm going to go A- minus because I think these moves really helped them to get over the hump and win the cup, adding guys like Lycanen that help, helps your depth. Sturm, who's a very good fourth-line center if you play him in that role. Manson, who's a very good defenseman, especially in the defensive zone. And then you add Cogliano, who has the winning experience. I think it's great guys to, to be able to put you over the hump. But if they don't win the cup, then it kind of is more in that B plus to A to, and then uh, B territory because you gave up such good asset to get these guys and then didn't get over the hump. Unless if you do, of course, win it with these same guys next year, then you're right back in the AA minus territory. But that's kind of where I would put it. I like the deadline for the Avalanche, and it's a good thing to put them over the hump on paper, I think, to get make little moves in Arturi Lycan and after they made the move on the 15th. And getting, you got Josh Manson, you got a Nico Sturm, who I think they think fits better for a playoff run. And they already have guys that are more uh, smaller skaters that are quicker skill guys like Yost that are good defensively more than they have bigger guys like Sturm that are just good at filling out a fourth line role. Uh, Arturi Lycan and adds depth scoring. So again, I think it's a good grade. I think that's a good place to put it, an A- minus with room to grow for the Colorado Avalanche. Just because obviously... If they win the cup, all of this worked out for them. But they did give up great assets to get these players. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please make sure to subscribe down below. Or bump these. Just wish to keep trying to grow to 215 or more by the end of March. Peace out, everybody.